In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a leaf spring shackle on your Chevy Silverado. This will be located on the rear of the leaf spring. Well, let's get started. To remove this bottom bolt, it's going to slide out the back, so we're going to have to drop down or remove our hitch. Remove the two 18 millimeter nuts on the sides. Push the studs through and they'll fall out. They're tied together. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the two 13 millimeter bolts in the rear of the hitch. Depending on which side you're doing, remove the bolt in the rear of the hitch for the side. If you're doing the drivers, do the driver. If you're doing the passenger, do the passenger. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the bolt. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the two nuts from the bolts. Use a 21 millimeter socket for the nut and a 21 millimeter wrench for the head of the bolt. Remove the two nuts, go to the opposite side and loosen them so the hitch can drop down. If you'd like to fully remove the hitch, remove the other two nuts. Before removing any shackle bolts, install a jack under the rear axle. Using a 21 millimeter wrench to hold the head of the bolt, we'll use a 21 millimeter socket to remove the nut. Do the same thing on the top bolt. Remove the nut. We're going to slightly pull down on the leaf spring and remove our bottom bolt. Go up on the jack under the axle, pushing the leaf spring above the frame. We're doing this to get that top bolt out. We're going to use a large pry bar and get under the leaf spring shackle and get it to an angle where we can get that bolt out. Just like that. We're gonna add a spacer above our pry bar. We're gonna pull up on this leaf spring. And remove the bolt. Remove the shackle. We're gonna do the same thing, slightly pulling up. Have an assistant pull slightly up on the pry bar. Install the shackle and the bolt. And then you can let down on the pry bar. Go down on your jack. We're going to seat the shackle into its bottom bracket. I'm going to use a punch to help align the hole and get the bolt started. Install the bolt for the shackle. You may need to slightly pull on the leaf spring. Install the nuts.
Using an 18 millimeter wrench for the head of the bolt, we'll use a 21 millimeter socket for the nut and snug it down. With both bolts and nuts installed, we're gonna jack up slightly on the rear axle, putting the truck at a ride height to be able to torque our shackle bolts. On our first pass, we're gonna torque these to 85 foot-pounds. Do the same thing on the top. Our final torquing step is going to be an additional 90 degrees. I have my socket marked on one of the corners and I have a corresponding mark at about 90 degrees. So when this red line hits this red line, we're at 90 degrees. We'll do that on both top and bottom. Remember to hold the head of the bolts while doing this. Remove the jack out from under the vehicle. Once you have your shackle bolts tight, push the hitch up and get the nut started on the bottom bolts. And install the bolts in the back of the hitch. These go to welded nuts on top of the frame. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the stud assembly and get the nut started. Do the same thing on the other side. Install the top back bolt for the hitch. Go around and snug down all of the nuts and bolts. Torque the nuts to 83 foot-pounds. Be sure that the bolt does not spin while you're torquing the nut. Torque the bolt to 103 foot-pounds. Torque the side nuts to 52 foot-pounds. Snug down the bolt in the back. Torque the bolt to 16 foot-pounds. Be sure you torque the opposite side as well, and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.